Hello and welcome to My Piano Method. I'm Michelle Orp and in this free lesson I'm going to show you how to play the famous chord progression that's used in hundreds of pop songs. So this is the 1564 chord progression. It's used in famous songs like The Beatles' Let It Be, Elton John's Can You Feel The Love Tonight, even U2's With Or Without You. There are hundreds. So we're going to learn this in about 10 minutes and then I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to sound like a pro. So we'll get stuck in. First up, before I can teach you the four chords, there's two things you need to know. And these are the notes on the piano and how to find middle C, which is the most important note when you first start to learn. So, the notes on the piano. Now, they do look very daunting because there's so many. There's 88, which is 52 white notes and 36 black notes, but actually there's only seven notes on the piano that you need to learn. And these are just repeated all the way up the piano for pitch. So the seven notes you need to learn are easy to remember because they're the first seven notes in the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So let's take a look. So my digital piano starts with the bass note of A. And most full-sized piano and keyboards will start with A. There are some smaller keyboards, however, that do start on a different note. If this is the case for you, don't worry too much. This is just to show you the notes. Later on in the lesson, I'll be showing you how to find them. But if we take a look how it works, our seven notes on the piano are A, B, C, D, E, F and G. And they just go up in that order. So starting on A, A, B, C, D, E, F and G. And then all that happens is they're repeated. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And so on all the way up the piano. The higher the note, the higher pitched the sound. Okay, so now you know the seven notes on the piano, we can take a look at the most important note to find when we start, which is middle C. And the reason this note is so important is because it's directly in the middle of the piano. So everything above it tends to be played with our right hand and everything below it tends to be played with our left hand. But also the C major scale is the first scale you'll learn as well because it's the easiest because it uses all the white notes. But it is important to be able to find it so let's take a look. So to find the note of C we're going to use the black notes on the piano and if you take a look at the black notes you can see that they're grouped into twos and threes and this is repeated all the way up the piano. So you can see there's a group of two here followed by a group of three, a group of two here followed by a group of three, a group of two here and so on. To find the note of C we're going to use the group of two black notes and all you do is you take the first black note and the white note directly to the left of that is a C and that will work all the way up the piano so if we come down here and look at this group of two black notes the white note directly to the left is a C and we can do the same all the way up here group of two black notes white note directly to the left that is a C now it's really important that you are looking at the group of two black notes. If you're looking at the group of three, which is really easily done, you'll have a different note altogether. So the white note directly to the left here is an F. So don't look at the group of three, make sure you're looking at the group of two. White note directly to the left, you've found C. Now to find middle C, all you do is look directly into the middle of your piano or keyboard. And if you're looking in the middle, the group of two black notes, there will be middle C. So there we go, white note to the left, this is middle C. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on our middle C. Now we know there are seven notes on the piano, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, the first seven notes in the alphabet, nice and easy. But we're not going to use A as number one. 
Our middle C is the important note here and the most common scale used when you start to play the piano is the C major scale and it's nice and easy because it's all the white notes which is why we like it and these four chords we're learning today are going to be all on the white notes and they're going to look exactly the same which is what makes them easy to learn. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our middle C as number one and we're going to count up seven from there. So C is number one D is number two, E is number three, F is number four, G is number five, A is number six, and B is number seven. And then you get back to a C, which would be number one again. So we have seven notes starting on C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the four chords we're learning are just called the number of the note. So C is number one, so this is going to be our one chord. G is number five, so this is going to be our number five chord. A is number six, so that's going to be our number six chord. And F is number four, which is going to be our number four chord. So the chord progression is one, five, six, four. So you can just spend some time going through those four notes. And if you get lost at any time, you just go back to your middle C because you know this is number one. And then you can just count up to your number five. One, two, three, four, five. And then your number six. And then your number four. And again, if you get lost, just always go back to, to the middle C. One, two, three, four. There's your number four chord. So you can just spend some time playing these single notes, but what we want to do is we want to create a chord for each of these four notes. So we're going to start on our number one chord, which is the C. And it's super easy to create a chord. I would suggest you hit the C with your thumb. And then all we're going to do is we're going to miss one, play one, miss one, play one. So if you can see on the MIDI piano there really clearly, the three blue notes I've hit, we start on the C, we miss one, play one, miss one, play one. So there's gaps in between. And this is exactly the same for all four notes we're using. So we start on our number one C, miss one, play one, miss one, play one. And then we're going to move to our number five note, which is the G. And this is really simple because our little finger is already on the G. Now, some people when they first start to play the piano, they can't actually use their little finger because it's not strong enough. If this is you, don't worry, just choose another finger to play it with. You could use your forefinger. You could use your first three fingers. In piano, we tend to call our thumb number one and we fan out from there. So one, two, three, four, five. And we always play with curved fingers. You want to be hitting the notes with curved fingers. One, three, five. But if you can't do that, you could use one, three, and four, or you could even use your first three fingers. Whatever you do, don't use your three middle fingers. I see so many of my students doing this and it's no good because you can't curve them so they're flat which means you have no fluid motion. And later on when you start to get good, you're, you're not going to be able to jump between the notes. So don't use them three. Always try and keep your thumb on the main note. So for our number one chord of C, we want our thumb on that note. So whatever finger is on the G, this is our number five chord, and this is our next chord. So all we're going to do is jump up to have our thumb on that and then to play the chord it's the same again miss one play one miss one play one so here is our chord five which is our second chord in the progression so we're going c to g now it's a bit of a jump so spend some time just practicing this later on in the course i'm going to teach you how to make that a shorter gap using inversions um, and making it sound a lot more professional but for now we'll do the jump c to G. Now the next chord we're doing, which is chord six, which is the A, is super, super simple because we're just going to move all of our notes up one. 
and this is our number six chord. So we're going from five to six. If you do get lost, it's not a problem. Just go back to your C and count up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here's your six chord, which is the A. Now this is an A minor chord, but I don't want you to worry about minor and major at the moment. We'll be learning about that a bit later. So for now, we'll just call it an A chord and it's our number six chord. And from here, we're going to move to our number four chord. So the easiest way to do that is just to come down two notes. So we go across that number five. So we're going six to four. But again, if you get lost, go back to middle C and just count up four. One, two, three, four. And then you miss one, play one, miss one, play one. And there we go, and that is the pattern. So start off on middle C, play your chord, and then we jump up to number five, and then we jump up to number six, and then we come down to number four. And you really need to just keep going over that because it's repetitiveness that makes us remember what we're doing. And then we can start adding more stuff on top when we really know what we're doing. One, five, six, four. C, G, A, F. And you just need to keep going over this. And what I'm going to do is give you a five day practice plan where we're going to add to this every day. And I'm going to take you through each five things quickly now, um, but you don't have to copy. You can do this daily with the practice plan. So for today, in today's lesson, we're just going to practice the one, five, six, four. And if we're not using one, three and five fingers, a great thing for you to do is to start using that little finger. Even if you're struggling now and you can't quite do it, the more you do it, the stronger the finger will get, which will help you with your playing later down the line. So. What we're going to do is go through each of the practice plans, but there'll be separate videos for you to follow each day. So day one, going through the four chords. Day two, we're going to add the left hand. So all we're going to do is add one note. So we start off on our number one chord, which is the C, and all we're going to do is play the C in our left hand. It's called an octave lower because it's um, eight notes apart, but we're learning about that in later lessons. So for now, all you need to do is find the C that's below your middle C and play that. And of course, you can just find those two black notes and play the note to the left of it and you'll find your C. And then you'll move up to the chord five and then to the A and then to the F. Chord one, chord five, chord six, chord four. And also in day two, I will um, use the pedal with you as well. Um, not all of you will have a keyboard with a pedal, but if you do, um, if you have a piano, it will be the pedal to the right. And all you do is when you press down on it, it sustains the notes for you. So I can let my hands off the piano and it's still playing. When I press the pedal, you will see on my MIDI piano, the color goes from dark blue to light blue. And when I let go, you can see I'm pressing the pedal up and down here. Um, so you always, always know when I'm using it. But the great thing with the pedal, it holds the note while you move your fingers to the next note. Now what you mustn't do with the pedal is keep it held down because it will sound really muddy because it will sustain all the notes. And that doesn't sound very good. I chucked in a B flat there as well, but never mind about that. Um, so you have to lift the pedal up and down in between your chords. Now on day three, we're going to add a bit more rhythm and you're going to hit the chords twice. So you're gonna hold down the note in your left hand, but the right hand is going to hit the note twice. So it will sound like this. And again, if you have a pedal, you can use it.
but if not, it still sounds fab. You can totally start wowing some people, especially if you start singing some of them songs over the top as well. Uh, that's day three. Day four, we are going to add a bit more rhythm to what we've just done. starting to sound absolutely fantastic and with the pedal even better. And then in day five, the last day in the practice plan, we are going to play with a broken chord. So these are fantastic. And that's what you'll be learning in the five days of practice. And of course, you don't have to do it in five days. Everybody's busy. It, you can do it whenever you like. So you can take as long as you like. And um, if you can do it every day, just a couple of minutes every day, you'll be learning all these fantastic different ways of playing these chords. And eventually throughout the course, especially if you do the chord jammer course, you learn how to start. Okay, so I hope you've really enjoyed this lesson and learning that fantastic chord progression. There is a fantastic example of songs that use this chord progression by a band called the Axis of Awesome. It's on YouTube, so just type in Axis of Awesome 1564 chord progression. They use 38 songs that use it. It's a great watch and there is a bit of swearing in there, but this will give you a great idea of how it works. One thing to remember is that there are 12 different keys on the piano and this is something we learn about in my course. Now some of these songs that I've listed that use the 1564 chord progression would have written the song in a different key, which means if you're trying to play along to the actual song then it might not quite sound right. But this is a problem that I tackle in my course because it's pretty simple to play the chord progression in all the different keys and I'll show you how. So take the course and you'll find out. Now what I do have as well is a five day practice plan that goes along with this chord progression to give you some tips and tricks and some extra stuff to make you sound like a pro. So if that sounds good to you, head over to my website, mypianomethod.com, click on the free piano lesson, and then you can pop in your email and I'll send you all of that stuff. But thanks for watching and I hope to see you on my course.